We could see a new health care option in Minnesota this year. A recent state report recommends a new state run public health system. Kun Gorham explains why we could see a proposal for it in the coming months. And so the problem we're trying to solve is that Minnesotans across the state, um, far too many don't have access to affordable health care or can't use the health care that they're purchasing. According to House Majority Leader Jamie Long, the Minnesota legislature authorized a report on a Minnesota care public option last year. This month, they got the final results. We're trying to make sure that folks have access to care they can use um, and access to affordable care. And we're trying to build on uh, Minnesota care. The recommendations in the new report suggest a new publicly available model, either directly attached to or based directly on Minnesota care. Long is optimistic with enough work, there could be a proposal in the coming months. But I'm committed to trying to do this this year. We know that um, Minnesotans aren't going to be any uh, better off next year. But not everyone is sold. Republicans like Senator Paul Uckey say it'll be a hard sell for members of his party. When we open that door, um, we run into a a lot of different problems and challenges. A key whose name is on the report worries that a public health option could cost the state and the taxpayer. The first thing we're going to see is we're going to need another big addition to the department, adding a lot of employees. These costs go up and even pulling numbers out of this report um, the cost to the taxpayer would already go up. Estimates in the report say up to 150,000 Minnesotans could apply for such a program, and it puts the cost estimate at 115 to 360 million dollars to execute. That doesn't seem like a deterrent for the DFL, who wants to get this done as soon as possible. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Minnesota Care is currently only available for Minnesotans earning 200% or less of the federal poverty level.